we present real-time non-rigid reconstruction using an RGBD camera. The following examples are all live captures running at real-time rates on a single PC. The first step of our approach is to build up a deformation template under rigid motion. Once online template scanning is completed, we're able to capture non-rigid surface deformations. Here we can see how our method directly follows the facial expressions of the target. Let's have a closer look at the input data. On the left hand side we see color, depth, and normal input of our real-time scanner. Our approach directly incorporates deformation changes as they are observed by our camera. Since our approach does not rely on future information, our reconstruction is immediate. Our deformation model is built from scratch for each object in under a minute. In this scenario, we generate the model of a human hand. Again, once the template is built, we start capturing non-rigid deformations. Note that our approach even recognizes fine-grained changes such as the motion of fingers. Since we don't rely on surface priors such as skeletons or parametric shape models, we can process arbitrary input objects. In this example, we capture deformations caused by compressing a basketball. We explored the applicability of our approach to a variety of different scenarios. Our approach allows for retexturing of captured surfaces. Our deformation regularization prevents geometric drift, which keeps texturing locally stable. As we capture deformations, we can easily retarget the non rigid motion to other meshes. Here is a live demo where we transfer facial expressions. We have also tested our method on many different RGBD cameras, such as the Microsoft Kinect. 
While we are still able to track many of the non-rigid changes, the Connect's low depth resolution prevents us from capturing local surface detail. Here, we compare our method against a template mesh and sequence of depth images from prior work. Our online method computes results three orders of magnitude faster while achieving comparable reconstruction quality. To evaluate the reconstruction quality of our approach, we generate synthetic data from an animated mesh sequence. In the middle, we show the reconstruction error between the input meshes and our result. In these sequences, we simulate an 8-camera setup for challenging body capture scenarios. Our deformation framework is still able to maintain real-time rates. Here we visualize the regularization error resulting from local surface deformations.